Uh, good morning. Thank you for being here. Two years ago, I first introduced legislation that would authorize terminally ill Minnesotans to receive medication for a peaceful death. My purpose was to start the conversation, and it did. After two committee hearings and a dozen listening sessions, I've received input from hundreds of Minnesotans around the state. The majority favored the legislation and thanked me. I've received personal messages of support and from people who watch, local love, watch loved ones die a miserable death or were themselves facing a terminal disease that would bring only pain and suffering. You'll hear from three of them today. Before I ask them to speak, I'd like to review what's actually in my bill and clarify what's not. I've changed the name from Compassionate Care Act to the End of Life Option Act for a couple reasons. Compassionate care incorrectly um, implies that the terminally ill adult is the recipient of compassion rather than the active decision maker in their own end of life care. I also reject the term death with dignity because it implies there is only one way to die with dignity. And I believe each of us defines dignity in our own way. End of life option is more accurate. Medical aid in dying is one option at the end of life. So the End of Life Option Act is modeled after Oregon's Death with Dignity Act, which has also served as the model for legislation in the six states where the practice is authorized. It is not euthanasia. It is not assisted suicide. Individuals seeking medical aid in dying do not want to die. They are not suffering from a mental illness that impairs their thinking. Their death is inevitable after all treatments have failed. They would prefer to live, but cancer or another disease is taking their life. Their goal is to relieve suffering that progresses only to the inevitable death. To qualify for med medical aid in dying, a terminally ill adult must have a prognosis of less than six months to live and must have full decision-making capacity and must be able to self-administer the medication. Two physicians must agree that the person qualifies and the request must be documented in writing. These regulations have worked well in Oregon for nearly 20 years with no evidence of coercion or abuse. As a nurse, I understand the need for medical aid in dying as an end of life option and will continue to advance the conversation on behalf of the terminally ill in Minnesota.